Uh, but our recent history is full of monsters who have done things that will keep you awake at night, uh, but you've never actually heard their names. I want to bring in Dr. Catherine Ramsland, forensic psychologist and author uh, of this book, Confession of a Serial Killer, The Untold Story of Dennis Rader, uh, the BTK Killer. Uh, it's interesting, Dr. Ramsland, that we seem to talk about the same handful of serial killers, but when you actually go back and look through the history, there's a lot that were really, really awful and did things that were just as bad, but don't get the attention. I mean, how do you explain that? That's usually about the, the time period, the media interest, um, the kinds of victims they would choose. Uh, there are any number of factors that will make them famous or not. So I want to go through a couple here, Dr. Ramsland, names uh, uh, that people maybe haven't heard before, but they have really interesting stories. The first one is Edmund Kemper. Tell me about Edmund Kemper. So Edmund Kemper has actually gotten a little more famous because he was on a very popular show. Prior to that, he, he wasn't as well known, but he was a, a six foot nine giant of a guy who killed his grandparents when he was 15 years old. Once he got out, he started picking up hitchhikers, girls um, in Santa Cruz, and he would subject them to um, rape. What he'd do is he would bind one of them. He'd pick up two at a time, bind one of them, and make sure she understood what he was doing to the other one, raping, stabbing, or shooting. And then um, so he would use psychological torture as well as physical, then dismember the bodies, behead them, and have sex with the parts. Oof. I mean, that's brutal. Then making the one watch to know kind of like what was coming. That's yeah. he's such a giant man. That's awful. What about uh, Richard Cottingham? What can you tell us about him? Well, Richard Cottingham had a family. He was uh, a computer programmer. He seemed to be an ordinary guy, but he also had a room full of torture devices. And he subjected victims, usually young women or girls, to prolonged torture as long as he could possibly uh, keep them alive. And biting, he would burn them in vulnerable places, batter them, choke them. Um, he was really quite brutal with them. And he, he has recently, he's going to become more famous because he's recently confessed to many more than he was convicted of. Oof, just awful. What about um, Dean Coral? What, what can you tell us about Dean Coral? So Dean Coral, about 50 years ago, used two teenage accomplices to bring boys to supposedly to his home for parties. And he would, would strap them to torture boards, sometimes two at a time. And uh, there were times when he would make them, if there were two of them, fight that say that he would uh, let the, whoever survived fighting each other, he would let the survivor w uh, live, which of course he didn't want to do, but then he would rape them. He used um, electrical stimulation on their genitals. He battered them, um, tortured them, and then had his accomplices either strangle them often in front of another one of the boys who was there, um, and then... Um, kill them and take them out and bury them. Oh my so gosh. again, he used psychological torture. I was just reading the screen, it said shot, I think it said shot dead in 1973. What happened, what yes. happened there? Well, that was one of his accomplices. He brought, he had two kids in three, actually three of them in his home and was going to kill all three. The accomplice talked his way out and then shot the serial killer who had recruited him onto this team. So very unusual situation. The only accomplice who ever actually killed the predator that recruited him. Wow, very interesting. Uh, and what about Tommy, uh, Tommy Lynn Sells? Tommy Lynn Sells was a guy who just, if somebody rubbed him the wrong way or looked the wrong way, he he just would just decide to go. Uh, he killed them, often in very brutal ways and wanted them to know what they were in for. For example, one family invited him in for dinner and the wife was pregnant. He took a baseball bat and uh, murdered them all. Forced the, the woman ended up um, expelling her baby and then he killed the baby with the baseball bat uh, and did other things with the baseball bat that were really gruesome. He just was a, a brutal guy who would subject people to this, the worst things that he could think of um, and he felt very justified in doing so. I mean, talk about brutal. Yeah, it's hard to wrap your mind around some of the things 
that you're saying, like just how awful they are. But it's, it's interesting yeah. to learn about some of these guys that we don't talk about as much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.